Man, blinded by the light again. And I'm not gonna sing the song either. I actually got a little bit of sleep today. A little bit more than normal. Uh, turn this down. But yeah, like, uh, I think, I think about four, four hours of sleep last night, because, well, no, it was three. It was three hours, almost three and a half. Uh, and then I woke up, <laughs> and then it went, I went back to sleep after taking my kids to school, but it wasn't until, like, like 10 o'clock, so I got another two hours. No, yeah, it was about two hours. So, it sucks when my, my sleep's bro broken up because, you know, I'm I'm trying to go to sleep. I mean, sometimes I'm just laying down and and uh, that's all I'm doing. Uh, I gotta make some flyers today for my kids' uh, school fundraiser thing. Gotta make like, 400 copies it's not that expensive but I don't like spending money anyways that's just me I'm, I'm a cheap dude I mean not that I don't want to have things that cost money of course I do but if I didn't have to do it I wouldn't do it like if I didn't have to buy this vehicle didn't have to pay how much I paid for it I wouldn't have but you know necessities arise sometimes and you got to do what you got to do and uh you know it, when that money's gone money's gone and you're pretty much just like okay what am i saving up the money now for because i mean that's normally what people do is you know it's you buy something the uh the new effect goes away then you want to buy something else um i'm not really like that per se i mean i would love to have like the fastest computer, the best car, all that stuff, but it's not worth it. Like if it breaks down or if you have to fix it or if you have to replace things that are chipped, broken, whatever, like stuff gets expensive. Um, I could buy whatever, let's say like four or five or six different uh, graphics cards build computers with uh you know not the best cpus but they'd still be good gaming rigs you know and that right there would last you know probably just as long if not longer if you don't overclock it if you don't do anything to it you know it's it's all uh it's all relatively simple uh so like i've always not spent so much on uh like cpus and, and graphics cards and just got whatever best deal I could get and uh my cats are chasing each other and then just go from there like that that was just me like I remember going to I don't even remember the website now but I got all these discounts then I went to those other websites like Honey or whatever that give you discounts uh I don't think it was Honey it was something else but anyways but I ended up like saving like 30 to 40 percent like 30 to 40 percent to build a whole computer and I was buying all the parts from one website uh, and I think I think when you stacked all this stuff when you kept adding they give you more you know percentage off which is awesome but you know you can't always find those deals so but that's why I like being cheap <laughs> I like being cheap because sometimes it might last longer I'm not I'm not like uh my dad cheap, but I'm I'm pretty cheap. Uh my my wife wants to have everything in its order at all times. It doesn't work out like that, but that's life. But uh I think she's pretty much the same way like I am about spending money in a sense. Uh it's just getting rid of stuff, I think. That's the only things that we run into is just, hey, we don't use this or don't need this anymore. Get rid of it or sell it or give it away or whatever the case may be. Like clothes, I mean, that's that's the one thing that's the uh, thing that happens the most is clothes. When you have lots of clothes or whatever for kids, got to get rid of them. You got to, you know, downsize and then, then, oh no, and then upgrade. And <laughs> that sometimes can go by pretty quick with the kids growing, you know. Uh, 
my kids luckily I mean I don't want to say luckily enough for them not in their case but haven't been growing that much uh, their whole life I guess you could say it's pretty, been pretty steady uh, especially having a kid that's older you had all those clothes or whatever that was a hand-me-down so it's pretty much easy and not have to spend so much money uh, to clothe them which is pretty different than when I was growing up you know it was pretty expensive clothes uh, in general was just like you know still pretty much same pricing as it is now if not higher because um, Walmart's you know they've been pretty good with bringing down prices and they you know they have their own factories and stuff where they uh, manufacture their own stuff so it's a lot cheaper so prices go down especially when you make more of it too that's the one thing that that I, I think is going to be pretty awesome but not really is we got to figure out a you know I guess break it all down and, and uh, do stuff with it but uh, having so much electronics and all that stuff, landfills, all that stuff, uh, that's a lot to deal with. It, it really is. And the thing is that when you have a lot more of that, the prices drop, which is good for us, but not good for people that are just keep making it. You know, manufacturing and manufacturing, they're not uh, not having to recycle all of it. Uh, but I know that they they got it. It's just a matter of time before we're able to, you know, find a way to get it all recycled without a whole bunch of toxic waste uh, or anything else. So, it's all weird talking, I know. But I gotta get going. I'm kind of late. <laughs> I don't know why I'm just rambling on. Uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Have a great day.